our next entrepreneur wants to make her mark in the tank in the most appealing way possible. I'm hoping that my product will take the stress out of every woman's morning routine and get them out the door three, four times quicker than they normally would. I'm super confident that the sharks will love my product and I think when they see how it works, they're going to be even more surprised. My name is Iris. I'm 23 years old from Perth, Western Australia, and I'm seeking $300,000 for a 10% share in my company, The Quick Flick. So sharks, winged eyeliner is probably one of the hottest makeup trends of all time, but for many reasons, it's also one of the most hated for how difficult and time consuming it can be to master. Really? And this was all too true for myself. I had worn a winged eyeliner since about the age of 16. I was known for my winged eyeliner look. Everyone knew me as, like, the cat lady. <laughs> Every single morning, it was the same old story, battling it out in the bathroom, trying to get my wings to at least look like sisters, let alone twins. And it got to the point where I thought, you know, surely there's an easier solution. So at the time, I was actually studying interior architecture and, you know, having that design background, I thought, well, how about I come up with my own design solution? So the Quick Flick is a self-inked winged eyeliner stamp that is customised for each eye. So within each set, you receive two stamps, one for the left eye, one for the right, and you also receive two felt tip liners that you can use to fill in, shape and create the rest of your look. Uh, the Quick Flick has been so well received that it's even been featured in the Daily Mail, The Sun, Mamma Mia and recently on Huda Beauty. So Sharks, what do you say? Who's quite literally ready to wing their way to perfect winged eyeliner every single time? Wow. Can you just give me a, a quick 30 seconds on what the devil the winged eyeliner is? <laughs> <laughs> is it something you actually add to your eyelid, is it? Or... Yeah, so it's an actual wing that's quite literally drawn over the eye. Can I show him? It's that which actually gives the shape of the eye. What, why, why do you do that? They usually paint it on with you, a you pen. Add it, so it's, it's correct. Really hard. It's, to the... it's eye flan. Yeah, it's, it's basically a makeup look. It is a classic. You know, Sophia Loren made it famous. Right. It's been around for decades. But the thing is, it is really difficult to do. Right, right, let's see how easy it is to put on. So there's two ways that you can apply the quick flick. So obviously you've got the stamp applicator and you also have the felt tip. So you can either apply the stamp first and then use the felt tip to fill in and join it. Or the way I like to do it is actually to line my upper lash line first and then join it up and stamp the wing in place. So it's actually a big texture you're drawing on the skin and then you put a bit of, a bit of paint onto your eyelids, is that right? Or makeup. A bit of makeup. Yeah, a makeup. It's a stamp, it's, got it. It's, yeah. On onto your skin, so it's actually you're not extending your. Oh my additional god, men are not quick, are they? I, I have <laughs> three daughters. I should know, but I, you I, I, seriously. Know. So, Iris, you're in the eye business. Is that just a yes. funny coincidence, or how did that Could happen? Could be. I oh, never actually thought of that. So, Iris, you're 23, valuing your business at three million bucks. So, uh, and you were studying architecture. Yeah, so last year I was in one of my university holidays and did everything, designed the product, did my website, did my packaging, you know, created social media. So to date, I've done uh, $310,000. Wow. So how much do one of these things cost, mate? So let's break the numbers down yes. quickly because it's so, getting pretty exciting all of a sudden around here. Yeah, landed, it's about $5. Yep, and what do you sell it for? $34.99. Uh, hey, figure. <laughs> you make like 250000 bucks a year in gross margin. Yes. So how much money did you invest in this project? Probably around $10,000. <laughs> and what are your family involvement in this? They didn't even know I was doing this. My first order rocked up and everyone was like, oh, what is this? And I was like, oh, just this product that I have decided to design and sell just casually. <laughs> So if one of the big manufacturers comes along and says, time to hand it over so we can take it worldwide, who is a natural fit for this product? I mean, I could see, you know, Revlon, Maybelline, those kind of brands taking it on. They can also copy it. Mm. Exactly, yeah. Which is why I also need you guys' help to sort of, you know, back me and fund that 
the provisional painting that I've currently got. This game really isn't about patents because I can change it so minutely yeah. and then get it through. So it's actually about first to the market and first to the mind. That's yeah. sort of the game here. Yeah. Iris, um, I just think it's not a product that I know enough about and an industry I know enough about. So, sorry, I'm out, but... Um, just completely understand. Good luck. Good luck. Iris, I think you're doing a wonderful job. I think you'll scale this business, but this isn't an investment for me. I'm out. Thank you. I love everything about it, for the fact that it didn't know it existed 25 minutes ago. There you go, and right? I saw your, your face was so... priceless. <laughs> You're bloody fantastic. Thank you. Look, I, I, can't, I can't bring anything. I'm out, and bloody well done, Iris. Thanks, anyway. Iris, there's, there's certainly um, risk involved in any business, and, and you, you have actually eliminated a, a, a large portion of the risk by actually saying, does the consumer want it? The answer is yes. Yeah. But $3 million is a bit steep for me, but I will make an offer. Sure. I will give you $300,000 for 30%. Three hundred thousand for thirty percent. I'll do the same. Thank you. You don't need them, so just ignore them and just screw them down for a better deal. Well, thanks for the gratuitous advice. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. What are you going to do? Uh, how does fifteen percent sound to you guys? Sounds is less. There, is there any sort of room for movement? <laughs> I mean, initially I was asking for ten percent, so thirty percent does seem like pretty big bite. Well, it's because of the money. You've asked for $300,000, and I, I can't value your business any more than about 900000 Even that's a bit of a stretch, so... And for me, I'm, I'm not prepared to move at all. In actual fact, I was thinking about taking more, but I thought, no, I'll stick with 30. I think 30% is a good offer. Sure. Um, Andrew, what about... Does 20% sound reasonable to you? Would you do 20% for 300000 What I was thinking about is actually I think you'll need a bit more money to really get it there, so it's only investment one. You're still going to have 70% of the business, and that's mm. going to be very valuable. I'm staying at 30%. 25? Yeah, I'd do that. 25? 25, we've got a deal. We have an auction Shake going. on it right now. <laughs> wow, you're, oh, really nego good are you're negotiating with me, not Janine, are you? Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's it. No problem. Well, that's she's okay. not moving. Um, 28%. Oh, come on. 25. We got a deal. Shake my hand right now. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> uh, that's sort of. You know you want to. 27 and a half. 25. Be the winged eyeliner man. Uh, I, <laughs> I think you're amazing, but no, I'm holding my ground. 27 and a half. Oh, you're not going to cook this over two and a half percent, are you? Yes, I am. Uh, you two, you're not going to cook it over two and a half percent. Meet in the middle. Like I said, I really didn't want to give away more than 15. Yeah. 25 is already a lot for me. Yeah, I understand. Well, OK, are you, are you in for 27 and a half or are you with me for 30? Let's do 27 and a half, Andrew. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Okay. Mwah. I even have wings. Yeah. Right <laughs> Thank you so much. Good job. Which bit is it? Oh, okay. A whole bit. You learn something new every day. Amazing. It's well a great done, Iris. Thank well you. Done. Well done. Wow. Well, there you go. I'm in the cosmetics business. That's good. <laughs> this is going to get copied. Oh, yeah. We have a race against time. I think holding my ground was really important, and I think the sharks could see that, um, and it made them believe in myself and the product as well. That's actually work. Oh, look at that. I can use this as a pen. Oh, that's what it, it's a stamp. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>